माइक टू यू मेरी आवाज आ रही है भैया आपकी आवाज आ रही है नमस्ते सुंदर राजे नमस्ते टू ऑल जी मेरा मेरा छोटा लड़का जो है माय सन इज वेरी स्मार्ट ही इज टू इयर्स ओल्ड सर माय वाइफ इज फीडिंग हर फीडिंग हिम दो सो शी इज बिकमिंग वीक व्हाट इज द सॉल्यूशन कैन वी से दैन इज सॉल्यूशन शी इज नॉट गेनिंग वेट शी इज हैविंग वेट 45 केजी ओनली नाउ is there any solution for this like uh, um, your son is newly born son in fact no 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 2 years 2 years old he is 2 years old and uh, he is uh, and your wife is still giving him milk oh, yes 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 uh, if she is not uh, she she is not uh, giving then he uh, she he will cry okay see um in fact uh, it is uh, strongly recommended for every mother to give uh, milk up to 3 years oh, okay sir okay so giving milk might not be the reason for her weakness it can be any other reason if sir. her uh, digestive system is uh, strong and she is eating good food then that should not be a problem at all giving milk will not cause any kind of disturbance in her health there is something some other reason due to which there is some kind of malabsorption nutrition sir. deficiency sir. sir that might be the reason for her weakness oh okay so it is better to correct the particular problem and uh, make her strong and continue breastfeeding because that will have a very good impact on long term health aspect of uh, your child child will become very strong and uh, immune to many diseases if he is um, at least for 3 years if gets uh, if he gets uh, proper uh, mother's milk okay. so sir so she is having there is a... another problem you can contact me you can send me a mail i'll i'll send you my number and then we can speak with her and uh, diagnose what is the problem okay she is having a thyroid thyroid also maybe that also is the reason yeah thyroid if thyroid is there that can be one problem because of which she can become weak okay. and that is easily correctable we can correct it that is not at all a problem Okay, we will speak with her and we'll try to understand what exactly is the problem. Okay. 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 Sir. Thank you. Sir. Okay. Sir. Thank you. Anupa Katarya ji. Ji. Good evening. Namaste. Namaste. Uh, my sister is forty-two year old, and she has swollen knees. Okay. Swollen knees for the past twenty uh-huh. years. like uh, off and on okay. they get swollen and the swelling goes on its own all the tests okay we cannot we are not able to diagnose anything from any test no uric acid nothing okay. no problem at all so okay. we are like uh, confused like it goes on its own the swelling goes on its own and we have hmm. observed that there is a cycle after every 2 to 3 years hmm. she'll have swelling in her knees and it is very painful and after 10 15 days it will be relieved okay we just uh, give hot and cold treatment whatever massage or whatever we can think of but none of them is very uh, effective and we are unable to diagnose we have shown to many doctors but uh, despite of all the test we are not able to find out the problem okay so i wanted to know that what could be the possible reason generally any swelling happens due to lack of uh, proper blood circulation okay and sometimes um, if there is any kind of inflammation due to some uh, disturbance which can be anything like 
most common thing is the autoimmunity where uh, our own immune cells will attack on the joint and suddenly there will be swelling and pain and when this uh, attack stops suddenly the pain uh, swelling and pain will disappear that can be one most common this thing which will not be diagnosed in any x-ray or blood test so oh, yes. this is what i am thinking as far as uh, so only by taking the history and examining we can uh, understand exactly what is the problem at least we can uh, have an idea after speaking with her so if uh, there are any specific health problems diseases and you want your family members uh, to get diagnosed or you need a medical help we are here to help not just me my, myself Dr. Sharmila Astana, Dr. Akhil Shukra, we all are there to help. Uh, only thing is uh, you need to take an email, uh, our email ID, send a mail, fix an appointment and uh, we can have a video call or regular audio call. And if you're nearby, we can also have an in-person uh, consultation also. She is residing so, in Hyderabad. Uh, where are you placed? I'm in uh, Vishakhapatnam, but there are so many friends of mine in Hyderabad. I can uh, you know, help her uh, speak with one doctor nearby. And I can diagnose the problem. No problem. Because this particular session is not about diseases. Thank you so much. This session is entirely about health. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I can okay. help you. Okay. Thank you have you my email. So much. Yeah. Uh, please uh, give it in chat box once again, sir. Okay. Sure. Okay. Thank you so much for your sure. precious time. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay then. Thank you, sir. So, yeah. I'm still... Someone else is also Shailaja Ji. You want to ask something? Namaste, Maria. Namaste. So recently, I just uh, uh, got through uh, like a normal checkup. Uh, in that, uh, I found a TSH 5.56. Okay. Uh, th uh, the thyroid test. Okay. Yes. So it yes. should be 0 0.36 to 5.2. But I got 5.56. So, okay. what are all the precautions I need to take in food? See, uh, 5.56 is not too high. Yeah. It is an indication that... Uh, but due to uh, that, I am observing myself like a little bit uh, increase in weight. Yes, that will happen when the TCTSH rises. So, all you have to do is do more physical activity and uh, make your mind more peaceful. Eat food in time. Sleep in time, get up in time, do you know, and eat more and more uh, fresh food, healthy food. Avoid all the preserved foods, reheated foods, fried foods, spicy foods, refrigerated foods, and uh, mm. for some days avoid non-vegetarian food. Mm. Eat more and more uh, fresh, uh, freshly cooked food, and uh, that should solve the problem with a lot of physical activity and uh, regular practice of pranayam, you will not need any medicine. In fact, okay. we are uh, helping so many patients who are using thyroid medicine for years together, like 20 years, 20 years. We are making them stop the medicine within six months to one year. Okay. So that is possible. In yours is in a very initial stage. All you have to do is uh, yeah. more physical activity and uh, make your mind more peaceful, practice pranayam eat good food, mm -hmm. everything else will become normal. Is there any particular food uh, like I need to avoid even vegetables? Uh, like I what need to avoid, the, uh, I heard cauliflower need to be avoided. No, it's not like that. Some people say avoid cauliflower. You can have all kinds of vegetables which are growing nearby. Make it okay. in a balanced, have it in a balanced way. 
some people eat one or two kinds of vegetables more and other vegetables they'll be neglected if you can balance mm -hmm. it you maybe you'll get cauliflower once in uh, cabbage once in 10 days like that that is okay oh. you are eating some kinds of vegetables okay bhai yeah thank you yeah welcome to so let's go into the session and um, just two days back uh, i made a video for aict we are uh, going to start the faculty development program and also um, we are going to start this uh, holistic human health in all the colleges from next year in the induction program you know 21 day student induction program so acd wanted me to make a small video explaining about uh, this particular course so i made a small ppt which i used to make the video and because so many people are here uh, after getting referred from the morning sessions of uhv and all and many people don't know what exactly this session is about that is the reason why we are getting more and more questions about diseases though the main aim of this session is uh, to speak more about the health i know you can't separate both but the main majority of the content which we cover here is all about health so let me take you through this uh, uh simple powerpoint and uh, i'll make you understand what exactly this course is about so because we are addressing the students so we th thought of uh, getting their attention by introducing their favorite characters so i have started asking them can you imagine spider man skipping classes due to a fever can you ever envision superman feeling unwell and unable to get out of the bed or can you even fathom wonder woman saying that i cannot save this world as i have mood swings today it all seems impossible impossible because they are superheroes they'll never skip their duties because of fever or mood swings or anything like that but what if i told you that you also can possess superpowers you all have the potential to stay consistently healthy without ever falling sick this is something which is easily achievable even when surrounded by people who are ill you can easily avoid catching infections increase your immunity you can have unwavering strength and boundless energy throughout the day from morning till night without any dip in energy you can even have laser like focus on any task with undivided attention and you will be able to accomplish everything with absolute precision so all this might sound like an unattainable dream but this foundation course in holistic human health this program can turn this vision into a remarkable reality so this particular course a foundation course on holistic human health this has been designed by us i am dr sundar raj perumal and my friend dr akalesh shukla and dr sharmila astana we have formulated this course to equip you with the knowledge and tools to achieve optimal well being you can tap into your inner super powers because the superheroes you admire they may be fictional but your potential for greatness is very much real so you can join this holistic health course it's a transformative journey towards becoming the best version of yourself so who can attend this session so all the faculty 
who are eager to teach this course, they can be a part of this faculty development program. Students who wish to take this course as an elective for their minor degree in UHV, they can join this course. This we are also going to introduce to in medical colleges to give a holistic view of health to the students who are going to become, in, become doctors. And anyone with a keen interest in maintaining and improving their overall well-being, they all can join this course. And of course, there are no prerequisites to join this course. But it is desirable if you attend the introductory course of universal human values. So the objectives of this course are like to foster a holistic perspective on health, recognizing that human being is not just the physical body. We, we all know those who have attended UHV, we know that we are not just the physical body. There is also the self. And that understanding and will be imparted to understand all the universal health principles. This course will equip you with necessary skills and competence to take proactive care of your own health. So your health in your own hands. And to instill a sense of commitment towards actively participating in the health of your family, your society, and your nature. So you're not, not just taking care of your own health, but you will be responsible towards the health of your own family, your own society, and also the nature in which you live. So this course has been designed as a foundation course, as a comprehensive standalone course. Or this course can be adapted as a three to four credit course within one semester in higher education. It can also be integrated into the first profession of medical education programs like MBBS, BMS, etc. This course consists of 28 lectures and 14 practice sessions. And it is thoughtfully organized into five modules. So, module one is called Introduction to Human Health, Holistic Human Health. So, the, here we understand that the human being is the coexistence of self and body. We also understand that universal health principles which govern our life are same for everyone. And based on that, we can design our own lifestyle. So there are some recommendations based on these universal health principles, lifestyle modifications. Like you can say they are the why and what to do in order to stay healthy. All these things will be covered in the first module. And modules two and three are about implementation of those recommendations in our day-to-day -day life. It includes understanding our own mind-body constitution. We all are different as far as the constitution is concerned. We all are unique. Our body is unique, our mind is unique. And according to our own constitution, you have to, we have to design our own lifestyle. It cannot be a prescription from someone else because that thing which worked for the other person might not work for you unless and until you understand your own mind-body constitution. Once you understand your constitution, you will be able to plan the right food, right way of taking water, air, sun, you can also plan the right daily routine and seasonal routine based on your own health, uh, mind, body constitution and also plan in such a way that it will be in harmony with mother nature. It also includes understanding the disharmony in our body long before the disease manifestation occurs. Normally, we wake up only when some disease appears in our body. 
but body tries to send signals continuously. Whatever is happening inside our body is being, you know, transmitted to us in the form of various signals. Problem is nobody taught us how to understand the language of our own body so that we will understand what's happening inside so that we can take the right action so that we can detect the changes negative changes disharmony long before the actual manifestation of disease happens and once you detect that there is something wrong just by correcting the lifestyle correcting your food you will be able to stop the manifestation of this disease so this will be taught in module 2 and 3 and also you will know exactly when to stop experimenting on yourself and when to seek professional help. That also will be covered in this module. In module 4, we speak about health of our environment. This includes health of a family, health of a society and also health of a nature and what is our role in ensuring health of the family, health of the society and health of the nature. Module 5 helps us understand the purpose of a healthy body and how we can use this body to reach our ultimate destiny. How we can fulfill all our goals using this human body as a wonderful tool that will be discussed in Module 5. So this course methodology encourages an interactive and personalized learning experience. So the entire course is presented in the form of proposals just like UHV rather than rigid truths. So it's very essential to explore, experiment with and verify the concepts on an individual basis. Following every two lectures, you will have a practice session designed to provide a hands-on experience to apply the knowledge gained in real-life situations and to facilitate regular monitoring of the progress, a wonderful tool called Health Tracker will be provided. This unique tool will enable you to track your activities which you will arrange after planning your lifestyle according to your own mind-body constitution, you will be able to observe changes in your body and mind using this health tracker. And this health tracker helps you stay motivated throughout your journey towards holistic health. What will we get after this, after completing this course? So you will be able to broaden and enhance your perspective about health. You will gain a more holistic understanding of well-being of your body, mind and environment. You will acquire a solid grasp of fundamental health principles and you will learn practical ways to implement these principles in your day-to-day -day life. And when you apply these principles in your own life, you will be able to achieve perfect health and greater mental strength. You will cultivate a sense of commitment and competence to actively contribute to the well-being of your family and society. You will understand that interconnectedness because if you are healthy but your family is not healthy, your society is not healthy, your nature is not healthy, then you will not be able to stay healthy for long. So it is our responsibility to ensure health in all the four levels. You will develop a fresh and enlightened perspective on the significance of possessing a healthy body, recognizing its role in promoting, promoting overall happiness fulfillment. So we welcome you to join this course. This course will teach you the art of communicating with your own body. We never really try to communicate with our own body. No one taught us this art. No one gave us these skills. To communicate with our own body. This course, the sole purpose of this course is to make you understand the language of your own body and that will help you stay always in a state of health and happiness. 
So, someone has a question? Um, Ishan Gopal. Namaste, Vijaya. Namaste, Ishan Gopal ji. Yeah, as you shared, it is appealing a lot. Uh, I'm very, really excited about this course. But yes. about the duration of this course, Vijaya, how many days? So actually, as I've told you earlier, it is 42 days, 42 uh, uh, sessions, actually. Yes. Initially, we have planned for uh, around uh, 20 sessions during the 21 day induction program. Maybe we have four faculty members. Uh, the faculty, faculty. Uh, it, it will be a uh, it will be a um, three day faculty development program. This is being planned actually. Okay. Where we will uh, teach you all the things, um, all the essential aspects, and also we will give you a lot of material, one book and uh, forty two videos, whatever. Uh, course is there that everything will be there in the book and also in the videos so, so uh, after completing this course we will be able to teach the students yes 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 that is the idea actually okay. because, uh, um, because yes. there are so many colleges and we can't come and teach in every college yes, yes. we want uh, faculty to understand this put it into their practice in their own life and then take this knowledge to the students because it's very essential so, because we are not from health field, so it will be okay for us. We will be competent enough to teach this. It's designed course. in such a way that anyone, anyone with an interest in this particular, uh, you know, in maintaining their own health can easily understand without any health background, medical background, and they will be able to take this knowledge to others also. Because we are not just speaking about taking care of your own health. We expect you to take care of the health of your family, your society. And if you are in a college, the health of your students, because students also are a part of your family. Yes. yes. So, okay. so you can take this uh, knowledge to everyone because we will give you enough material and we are not uh, diagnosing any diseases. We are not uh, treating anyone. We are just teaching them the art of communicating with our own body and giving them enough knowledge to respond to whatever body is trying to communicate. Take right action in such a way that whatever disturbance arises in the body will be corrected just by simply correcting the food and lifestyle. Okay, so well, so it, knowledge yeah, is it, will be given. It, it will be organized in online mode or uh, face to face. Until now, we have conducted online only. Okay, already uh, already this type of courses has been organized, Bhaiya? Yes. So, in 2020, we have conducted uh, online sessions both in English and Hindi. Um, around tw 12 sessions in each language were conducted online. Along with 10 practical sessions also. Yoga and uh, other practices in Ayurveda. So uh, around 22 sessions each in English language and in the language. And uh, those videos are already there in the YouTube channel of, see now this particular session is being live streamed on YouTube channel of uh, AACT SIP, AACT Student Induction Program. In that, there are playlists where you can find the uh, playlist of the actual course which we have conducted in both English and Hindi. Around four, uh, around 40,000 participants uh, Students have participated in both the, both the courses, uh, the two courses, theoretical courses and the practical one put together. 40,000 students have participated. And after that, every Friday, we are conducting this refresher course in which we are again and again covering these same uh, sessions and uh, taking up some specific diseases and creating awareness about more about health. So, so in future, when it is going to be healthy again, this or... Uh three days workshop so actually uh, we are no no we have not conducted faculty development program till now okay whatever i am speaking about is only the direct student sessions which we have conducted 
Okay, so when when this faculty development program will take place, Bhaiya? Very soon, uh, we have already formulated all the syllabus and all for the faculty development program. Yeah. So very soon it will be conducted, and uh, this year only it will happen, because our aim is to start this session for students in at least some colleges next year, a decent number of colleges, even now also some colleges they invite us. online sometimes the offline also we go and conduct a session there and come back but uh, it is not happening in a organized way and it is not happening we are also trying to get a three credit course three to four credit uh, course out of this because uh, that will ensure that um, majority of the colleges will uh, give serious uh, put keen, keen interest in this particular uh, course so this is all happening in the background so to help you understand about this course better i am just showing this showing you this chart so this this yellow part is the understanding part where the initial part is like you all know you will be having that awareness that you are not just the body so there is a self which is governing this body and body is always giving information to the self and self is taking action whether informed action or like action with so many manyadas preconditioned actions so whether you take a right uh, you whether you give right uh, instructions to the body or wrong instructions to the body whether you take good care of your body or whether you um, you know malnourished and uh, abuse your body it all depends upon how you understand and the primary understanding part and awareness part is that you are not the body you are taking care of this body and body is helping you achieve all your goals so that will be instilled through the medical knowledge and then we will help you understand whether you are healthy or not we will not diagnose you we will help you diagnose yourself by making you understand the indicators of health so what will um how you how how will you know whether you are healthy or not how will you assess your digestive strength how will you assess your physical strength how will you assess your uh, uh, strength of uh, various systems of your body whether they are functioning properly or not various uh, sense organs of your body whether they are functioning properly or not this part is about understanding your own health there is a questionnaire which you will easily answer and you will get a score which will tell you how healthy you are then we will understand the purpose of holistic health what exactly is the purpose why should we be healthy if you don't understand the reason for staying healthy you might get confused and you might follow wrong steps to stay healthy if you think that you health is needed for you to achieve a six pack or a zero size or some medals in the olympics then the way you approach towards that kind of health will be different but when you understand this health is necessary so that you will reach the you will be able to achieve all the ultimate goals and reach the, you will travel in that particular way which will take you towards the ultimate destiny so that you will serve the purpose of your own living why you are here your own purpose of life once you understand and if you travel in that direction then you need perfect body and mind so once you understand the purpose of holistic health you will go in the right direction and you will also understand that there is already harmony inside your body inside yourself already all the organs and organ systems are working together in a beautiful a uh, synchrony and you are not doing anything for this body to work in a, such a grand way all you have to do is refrain from disturbing this harmony and you will always stay healthy but unfortunately we are continuously disturbing this harmony inside our body and this disturbance this disharmony 
is leading to so many diseases. So we will understand the harmony in health. We'll understand about the circadian rhythm. How you can be in harmony, not just with yourself, but also in harmony with the entire universe. The solar cycle, lunar cycle, in, with the earth, with everything around you. You can be in harmony. And you can understand the principles governing the body. So these, these, these universal health principles which are same for every one of us. Recommendations might change from person to person, place to place, time to time. But the principles will never change. So we will understand all these principles, universal health principles which are governing our mind and body. So this is all about the understanding part. Then the application part contains two parts again. One is keeping the mind-body in harmony. And whenever there is a disturbance in the harmony and you observe this disturbance, you will return back to the harmony by taking some simple steps. You will be able to diagnose yourself long before the manifestation of the disease by observing the premonitory symptoms, which are small, small changes which happen in your body before the actual manifestation of the disease. And at the time only body starts communicating with you. It will tell you that this, this, this is happening inside your body. Please take action. And if you take action, you will avoid all those diseases. Just by doing some dietary correction, correction of protein, simple corrections in your activity, exercise, breathing, pranayama, all these things will help you get back to normalcy. And even then, if you are still unable to get back to normalcy, then you will have enough knowledge when to start taking professional help. So this is what uh, is the uh, second part. Keep the body in harmony. Again, nurturing the body and protecting the body. In nurturing the body, we have intake. Intake of food, water, air, sunlight. Last two, three weeks, we spoke about intake of food which contains parts like how to choose the right quality of food, right quantity of food, how to prepare the food and how to consume the food. In the quality also, how to choose the nutritious food. And after choosing the nutritious food, you also to choose the food which is easily digestible by the body. Also the food which can be easily excreted from the body, food which is compatible with the body and food items which are compatible with the all things on the Intake of, intake of water, intake of air, intake of sunlight, all these things nurture your body. So that is coming under the nurturing part. And also your routine, your labor, the physical activity which you do, exercise which will, which is very important to give strength to specific parts of the body, increase blood circulation, reduce fat and increase the flexibility. But at the next level, postures, yogasanas, which will also help in stimulating specific organs and enhancing the function, enhancing the healing strength of your body to correct the diseases. All these things can happen with the help of postures, yogasanas, and then pranayama meditation, which will act at a higher level of, level of, at the level of chromosomes where wonderful changes can happen both at your level of the body and just by practicing pranayama and meditation. So all the things will nurture the body. We have to think about you know, we choose our footwear, our clothes with a lot of preconditioning. But if you have the right scientific knowledge about choosing the right clothes in the right season, right footwear to give enough protection to your legs without causing any damage because any wrong footwear can cause a lot of disturbance in the entire posture balance of your body. Choosing the right footwear, right material, right clothing, right shelter, right house with right ventilation, right entry of light, right uh, design and also right uh, things which you arrange in your house, including the curtains, bed sheets, 
bed, the right direction of the bed, all these things will be covered under shelter. So we speak about all these things because each and everything has an effect on your well-being. So we speak about health of the family because if you decide to stay healthy and your family is not cooperating, it will not be possible. So there should be a scope for health education in the entire family. All the family members should sit together and discuss and plan together so that they can eat together, play together, exercise together, have fun together, plan together and procure physical facilities which will enhance your health and reject all the physical facilities which can cause disturbance in your health. Like reject all the aluminum vessels, all the plastic things, all the physical facilities which are causing so much of harm in your kitchen, in your bathroom, in your bedroom. Choose the right things, right physical facilities to use. And this will happen only if whole family have this comprehensive knowledge about holistic health. And also health of the society and nature. So as a society, as a part of the society, we should be able to help others in our society to understand about these universal health principles so that as a unit, all the members of the society can procure good food, good milk, good water, good air, and also help the future generations by preserving proper fertility in the soil, maintaining the good quality of air, and maintaining uh, afforestation. All these things can happen only when people come together as a society. They can maintain the health of the society and also help the nature. Um, help others be in coexistence with nature and not exploit nature. So understanding individual constitution is an essential part of this course, which, ha which will happen in the first, in first only. Understanding present health problems and also how to promote health systems, which will replicate the effect of these sessions, put them into practice and make more number of healthy people who can become the solid foundation for this healthy society. So this is all about this holistic human health course. So, yes, Shan Gopalji, you have raised your hand. You have any question? Hello. Sorry, someone is speaking, but I can't. Ruby ji. Maya, namaste. Namaste, namaste, Ruby ji. Sabhi, everyone, namaste. Maya, I had a query. Ki any eligibility criteria is there for joining this FDP? No, 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 no. No eligibility criteria. All the faculty members can join it. Okay, Bhaiya. My other questions you have answered. Not, no queries are there actually. There's so mm -hmm. much like excellently you have explained everything. So it is all very good to join. I'm very much excited to join. Yes, yes. We are also very excited to, you know, <laughs> we no, did a lot of homework for the past five years. Yes, yes. Definitely. So you want to guide people that don't go into a junk food. Huh? Yes. We want to make people take their own health in their own hands. Yes, yes, yes. We want to outsource the health to doctors or to hospitals. Yes. Oh, no, the, the doctors are there, but uh, Bhaiya, I will share one incident with you. Can I yes. share? Yeah, please go ahead. These interns were, because I am also in medical also, so these yeah. interns were having senior and junior and one uh, pediatric uh, department in uh, and one child was brought to months old child uh, with okay. some surgery done and sutures were come out, you know. So this okay. senior told the intern junior to uh, 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 correct the sutures, correct mm -hmm. the surgery. 
mm-hmm. and uh, uh, remove the bandage and change the bandage but okay. she answered so badly but the parents were shocked to see that doctors are talking like that oh she they didn't like it then uh, these both were fighting with each other you do it you do it then a third party was uh, involved and third party has cleared the uh, problem of that okay. baby baby okay. is two months old parents are in a uh, uh, dilemma like what to do with this they'll be in shock and, yes. uh, now then uh, when the uh, grievance came to us for sorting it out so they are saying don't give them warning it will spoil their life and uh, uh, during lifetime they have to continue with this uh, uh, services so i said what type of services is this internship mein aap aise behave kar rahe ho to aage chal ke life mein kya karoge you should not be like this really it uh, is the reason very sad to see all this and you are all So kind of irresponsibility is uh, yeah. present everywhere in <clears throat> why we need universal human value everywhere in each and every education system hmm. every level felt need... that uhv should have been uh, launched here first that these interns yes. should improve themselves <laughs> you know yes, exactly thank you thank you yeah namaste namaste rajesh ओके सूर्यकांत जी भैया नमस्ते सुंदरराज भैया नमस्ते नमस्ते भैया मेरा एक डाउट है आई वांट टू गेट द इंफॉर्मेशन ओके अप्लाइंग कोकोनट ऑयल इनसाइड द नोज दैट्स एवरी डे सपोज पीपल आर प्रैक्टिसिंग एनी साइड इफेक्ट्स विल बी देयर आर इट इज ओके no absolutely no side effects okay in fact the nasal mucosa which is exposed to the external air needs that kind of uh, oil film as a protection uh, in ayurveda okay. we advise nasya pratimarsh nasya every day putting some yeah. two to drops of uh, gingerly oil or sesame oil every day in each nostril which will also form a film of uh, oil on the nasal mucosa because the nasal mucosa is exposed to the air it will become dry and it will uh, have so many other problems and it easily the microbacteria or viruses can enter through the nasal mucosa a thin film of oil on the exposed part will definitely help in protecting the body and there is no side effects there is no side effect whether you use coconut oil or til oil yeah nice thank you bhai because i am practicing it daily usually morning uh, that's what i want to know that whether right is advisable or not it is advisable yeah yeah thank you thank you very much bhai namaste namaste sir kanth namaste so oh, if we don't have any questions we still have 9 minutes okay yes kishan ji uh, namaste bhaiya bhaiya about oil i have heard this mustard oil is uh, better for nostrils or any other oil the best oil is always til oil sesame oil okay for massage purpose also and for this nostril or ears For any purpose, best oil is til oil. In all the seasons, we are. All the seasons. Okay. But uh, if you are living in a place where it is very cold, some hill is hill station or something like that, or in a cold season, yes, uh, this mustard oil is much better than til oil in uh, giving you enough warmth. Will produce enough heat inside the body to. fight the cold coldness outside so under the regular use till oil is best 
Okay, we have, because we are from Rajasthan, so hot weather is here. So in summers, we can use till oil and in winters, we can use mustard oil. Is it yes, good? Like, that you can do, like that you can do. If the okay. summer is too hot, then you can try coconut oil. Okay, okay, okay. Coconut oil is having some you know, cooling effect. Opposite okay. to mustard oil. Okay, so very hot, when very hot weather is there, we should use coconut. When yes. it is medium medium weather, when we can use till oil oh, and till oil, you can use in every season. Too cold, okay. too hot. Any season you can use till oil. But okay. if you think that it is too hot, use coconut oil. If it is too cold, use mustard oil. Okay, thank you, Bia. And Bia, one more uh, issue I have from last many years. Uh, I don't feel hunger. Actually, I am. I I have done so many uh, things, so many practices, even tried Ayurveda, allopathy, everything, and many other therapies I have tried. So from that, the outcome is that now I am eating for three times, uh, but uh, very very less diet, and uh, so I'm not feeling that much hunger actually. But uh, according to my schedule, I am taking all these things. So there are some particular reasons where uh, for not feeling hunger. Yes, uh, yes, I'm not able to because uh, it is not diagnosed so far. And last 10 12 years, I am feeling this problem. If you are not feeling hunger, definitely your body is trying to tell you that your digestive system is not very strong. So mm. <clears throat> it is very important for us to strengthen our digestive system and also. Uh, in, you know, rekindle the digestive fire. There are some healthy practices, starting from simple practices like chewing uh, ginger and salt just before having food, regularly having hot water, and uh, initially eating very light food, which will kindle the fire. There are so many practices like this. There are some therapies which will rekindle the fire, digestive fire. There are some medicines which will help you uh, gain more hunger as you'll feel that urge to eat a lot. When you skip a meal, you will definitely feel that uh, that hunger. All these things will happen. Um, so maybe we can take your case history and uh, help you. You can just mail me. We can speak one day and uh, see what we can do. Yes, we are. Surely, I will connect you here yeah, on mail. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Yes. Nirubham ji? Ji, see. namaskar bhiya. Okay. Uh, namaste, sir, uh, uh, We were talking about um, body massage, na? so I wanted to know which oil is best for uh, body massage of babies, newborn babies, or just uh, for, yeah. even for uh, newborn babies, best oil is till oil. Okay, not and uh, oil, not Johnson oil, only till oil. Uh, even uh, some people prefer uh, olive oil. Till oil is better than olive oil. Okay, okay, sir. Okay. But and again, the same formula will apply that in the uh, uh, in winter season, uh, um, uh, mustard oil will be better now. Yeah. For babies, okay, okay. it is better to apply till oil in any season. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay. And okay, thank also you. have some really nice oils prepared out of the oil by mixing some herbs like Mahamasha Taila, Balashwaganda Taila, Chindana Bala, Lakshadi Taila, all these uh, medicated oils. Um, people who know about these oils, they use it for their children to do oil massage even when they are infants. So you can take the help of any doctor to have like particularly for some babies who are weak, who we use this Balashwaganda Taila and Mahamash Taila. So that also can be done. But for regular babies, simple plain til oil, hot til oil. You need to heat it and use it. That is more than enough. Okay. A daily heat before applying on the body. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. 
वेलकम जी शैलजा जी नमस्ते भैया वन सेकेंड हेलो सर हेलो सर कैन यू हियर मी यस आई कैन हियर यू सर वन ऑफ माय चाइल्ड इज एट ट्वेल्व इयर्स ओल्ड ओके ही सफरिंग फ्रॉम नेफ्रोटिक सिंड्रोम सिंस सिक्स सेवन इयर्स ओके मींस इन यूरिन Albumin albumin is is. Yeah, is I know what nephrotic syndrome is. Uh -huh. is there also some kind of uh, diabetes or rise levels of blood under treatment the normally the doctors they are prescribed immunosuppressants and steroids yes that is what they do in nephrotic syndrome ah uh, but that is not advisable for a longer duration ah uh, we can stop these immunosuppressants ah uh, because steroids are like uh, um they will not just suppress those immune cells which are attacking the kidneys yes they will suppress all the immune cells which are protecting the body also yes so it is not a right practice to continue on immune suppressants for longer durations yes yes so that is very important for us to correct the immune system in such a way yeah that uh, um the nephrotic syndrome uh, a tapering it, dose they have given uh, first uh, 30 mg steroids so then uh, Yes, that is what they do because they know that steroids are harmful. They will definitely right. um, give you on the tapering dose. But if they are not, if the if once you stop the steroid, if the body is again not responding, again they will start steroid relapse. Ah, uh, relapse. That occurs. So whenever there is relapse, they will uh, put them put them on steroids. Ah, uh -huh. Ayurveda has a wonderful uh, way to correct this autoimmunity. Ah. Uh -huh. um it is more of like panchakarma therapy which you have to get it done by visiting the panchakarma hospital ah uh, ah uh. so can contact the nearest uh, hospital uh, they will uh. doctor is experienced you know they will they will definitely handle nephrotic syndrome uh. better and definitely help you get rid of immunosuppressants as early as possible without any relapse ah uh, ah uh -huh. okay okay Any suggestions in the Karnataka nearby Hubli da road? Hubli, I don't know. Yeah. In Bangalore and uh, Hassan, Udupi, uh -huh. we have uh, really good hospitals. Ah, uh ah. -huh. Um, Panchakarma therapy that is better. Yes, Panchakarma therapy is needed. Ah, uh ah. -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Okay, sir. Apart from that, any other? We need to practice, teach the child pranayama and ask him to practice it rigorously. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. So that will help in uh, um, self healing. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, so. Because pranayama itself will be very effective if done properly. Ah, uh. regularly, consistently. Oh. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your valuable suggestions. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, any panchkarma center in Rajasthan or in North India near to Ajmer? See, in Ch Jaipur, in Jaipur, we have National Institute of Ayurveda, which is a very prestigious institute. Okay. You can go to Jaipur. Yes, sir. Yeah. And uh, is, how many days minimum? How many minimum days required for panchkarma? For what? For what? It's only for health. Yes. If it is only for the health sake, maybe it will take around one month. Okay. Yes. Okay, Bia. Thank you. So it's uh, time now. You all know that I'll have my dinner and I come to the session. But if you people are uh, still hungry still not completed uh, your dinner then we need to respect our circadian rhythm
and have food as early as possible and just before having food observe your mind if your mind is disturbed stressed or full of anger or fear take deep breaths relax your mind relax your body and once your mind comes to a better state of uh, you come to a better state of mind then have food otherwise in a bad state of mind if you are having food it can become poison thank you so much for being with us we'll meet in the next week thank you bhaiya thank you so thank you, much bhaiya. for the informative session so definitely we are going to meet next week this note stay healthy and stay happy always thank you thank you bhaiya thank you sir thank you namaste to all namaste namaste